In the history of the Baltimore Ravens, there's been one player to ever win the Most Valuable Player Award, and of course that player is Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson's 2019 season was one for the history books and will always be remembered fondly by Ravens fans and by NFL history aficionados. As Lamar Jackson is only the second player ever to win a unanimous MVP award in the NFL. And once again, Lamar Jackson is in the thick of the MVP race. Currently, Vegas odds for the risk of us have Lamar Jackson second in the MVP race to quarterback Brock Purdy. However, many fans and commentators really do believe that Lamar Jackson is in the pole position to win the MVP. Now, MVP is not everything. As we know, many times the most valuable player does not go on to win the Lombardi Trophy, which is the goal for Lamar Jackson. As the season has progressed, many different quarterbacks have been at the top of the MVP rankings, including Brock Purdy, Dak Prescott, Patrick Mahomes, and Josh Allen. And though many of these quarterbacks are talented, the simple fact is that not only has Lamar Jackson been the MVP this season, I believe he's been the MVP for the entire league ever since he's gone into the NFL. He simply has been the most valuable player for his team as compared to other quarterbacks and how they impact their own teams. And today on the Raven Space, we are going to talk about why Lamar Jackson is the quarterback you want on your team if you want to win, not just this year, but every single year. Special thanks to you for your support and helping the channel grow. The best way to support us is to watch the video to the end, make sure you like it and leave a comment. And for those who wanna support us on a higher level, check out our Patreon page. Lamar Jackson is a winner. And that is the first reason that I believe he is so valuable as a player. We're gonna talk about him winning, but not only that, being the reason why your team is so successful. And I believe that's something that only one other quarterback in the entire higher NFL other than Lamar Jackson can say. Lamar Jackson with the Baltimore Ravens has a record of 60 and 24. That's a 71% winning percentage. Since he's come to the league, the only quarterback that can claim that he has a better winning percentage is Patrick Mahomes. Also, this percentage makes Lamar one of the most winningest quarterbacks to ever play the game of football. Let's talk about John Harbaugh and how he's benefited from Lamar Jackson since 2015. Since that time, John Harbaugh's winning percentage with Lamar Jackson is 75.5%. However, Without Lamar Jackson, John Harbaugh's record drops to 43.8%. The Ravens fans seen it all with their own eyes. If the Ravens have Lamar Jackson, there's always a chance to win. It doesn't matter if we lose running backs. It doesn't matter if we lose receivers. It doesn't matter if we lose offensive linemen. It also doesn't matter how bad the defense is. It doesn't matter if we lose cornerbacks. Lamar Jackson is the recipe for the Ravens to win games. And without Lamar Jackson, there's almost no chance that we can beat higher level competition. Like I said earlier, it's also not just about a winning record. There are other quarterbacks that have great records like Brock Purdy and Tua Tungvaloa. However, when you watch the games, it's plainly obvious that they are not the driving forces of their teams. Brock Purdy, for example, is a good player. However, there are players, quarterbacks, who are not as good that were able to make it to the Super Bowl with the same team. Tua Tungvaloa has receivers running open all the time. They're able to win, but they're not the main cog of their offense. Lamar Jackson is the system in the Baltimore Ravens scheme. The run game is predicated on his ability to run, which is the number one run game in the entire league, and it doesn't work without Lamar Jackson. The pass game, of course, is solely on Lamar Jackson. Even though the receivers for Baltimore have improved this year from last year, they're still not some of the top receiving threats in the NFL. Some of the teams that have some of the most talented receivers are consistently beating coverage. For example, the receivers in Miami do a great job of getting open. Running backs like Christian McCaffrey for the San Francisco 49ers carry a heavy load in the running game. Lamar Jackson is the system and continually puts us in the best position to win football games every Sunday and of course Lamar Jackson does that by being the engine of the team. Statistically, if you want to win football games, Lamar Jackson should be the first person you call if you're serious about being a great organization. The second topic that has to go into the MVP conversation is the entertainment value. At the end of the day, the NFL is a business and the NFL wants stars who are entertaining and dominant stars that are great ambassadors for the game on and off the field, but especially on the field. When it's prime time, do people watch your games? This is an example of why the Cowboys and Dak Prescott will always have a chance to be an MVP conversation candidate because people love watching the Cowboys throughout the entire country. However, people also love watching Lamar Jackson. There are several times throughout the NFL season where Lamar Jackson has jaw-dropping moments. You may have heard this term used, 
called an MVP moment. Well, Lamar Jackson has several MVP moments, sometimes multiple in the same game where he's dodging and ducking defenders, then makes a perfect pass when he's conducting the offense like an orchestra. When it comes to star power, Lamar Jackson is easily in the top of the league in that category. Though he is humble and he loves the game of football, there's no question that when Lamar Jackson is on TV, America is watching. And when you are a player able to combine the ability to win with the ability to be electric on the field and entertain the masses, you have the perfect, perfect recipe to be an MVP candidate. And Lamar Jackson has been doing this since he's come into the league. He's easily one of the most entertaining quarterbacks in the NFL. I would argue Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, and Lamar Jackson are the most entertaining quarterbacks in the NFL, and their teams also have good records over their time in the league. Other quarterbacks that are entertaining sometimes do not win games. In addition, there are other teams like the San Francisco 49ers who are entertaining because they have a host of talent and are dominant. Lamar Jackson is the talent, he is the entertainment, and he is the MVP of the Baltimore Ravens. The last category we have to take into account where I call Lamar Jackson the most viable quarterback in the league and for the last couple of years, I am also taking into account the impressive stats that he's been able to rack up over his years. Even though many of us look at this year as a down year for Lamar Jackson in terms of statistical importance, a closer look will show you that he's having a season on par or even better than seasons he's had in the past statistically. Currently, Lamar is ranked the sixth best quarterback by Pro Football Focus with a score of 86.7. And after his first year in the league, he's been consistently one of the highest rated quarterbacks in all of the NFL. In 2019, he ranked fourth best in the entire NFL. Due to injuries in 2020 and 2021, he had some down years. But in 2022, he ranked fifth best quarterback in the NFL by Pro Football Focus. And of course, this year, he's the sixth best. When it comes to pure stats, this year, Lamar Jackson is one of the leaders in completion percentage by a quarterback and leads the NFL and rushing for a quarterback once again. In addition, over the past couple of years, there have been seasons where Lamar Jackson has led the NFL in passing touchdowns like he did in 2019. When you take Lamar Jackson's entire body of work, not just passing touchdowns or passing yards this season, you'll see that there's a quarterback that's statistically impressive when you combine his ability to run the football, his rushing yards with the passing yards, and the efficiency that he is doing it at. When Lamar Jackson scrambles, how many of those scrambles go for first downs? Will Lamar Jackson and throws the ball, how many of those passes go for completions? Specifically for this season, when you look at the traditional quarterback numbers, it's easy to say that Lamar Jackson is having a down year. However, you will be fooled. Lamar Jackson is having a great season, even by the numbers, if you take into account all of the numbers, not just passing yards and passing touchdowns. And now, of course, we're not used to evaluating quarterbacks this way, but there are stats like yards after contact. If you take that and you give that stat across all quarterbacks, you see Lamar Jackson is having a season that most quarterbacks have never ever had. Lamar Jackson over the past couple of years has been the only quarterback with the ability to lead quarterbacks in things like rushing yards and rushing touchdowns and passing yards and passing touchdowns while being able to win consistently. In my opinion, Lamar Jackson is this year's MVP and has been the most viable player since he entered the league because the entire system is running on his shoulders. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I appreciate all the feedback, all the likes, and all the love. Thanks guys, remember to subscribe and go Ravens.